So if you're familiar at all with asbestos, you know that there are, if you have particulates, if you breathe in particulates, let's put it that way, um, and they interact with your the lining in your lungs, it can be adverse to your health. So now the size that we're talking about where it interacts with your lung tissue, I think um, I think you're talking looking at something that is smaller than uh, 2.5 microns. Now, uh, if you see now that's how that's a length 2.5 microns. Uh, one micron is equal to one micrometer. So just to kind of give you a little sense of convention here. So for instance, here um, 100 micrometers is the same thing as 100 microns. So hope that all works for you. But as far as getting particulates suspended into the air in what we call um, aerosols, I mean, humans, we have our fair share of activity that would make that happen. For instance, when we burn fossil fuels, not only do we emit gas products, but we also um, spew particulates um, into the atmosphere, depending upon um, how we're burning that fossil fuel. Now, particulates can be both a primary pollutant, meaning right off the bat they are harmful to life, and then they can also be a secondary pollutant, which means that the particulate is interacting somehow with something else that's in the atmosphere and forming a pollutant. So, um, Now, there is this, I think the word symbiotic is kind of strange here, but uh, there is this relationship between uh, pollutants and condensation, and it's something that we talked about earlier when we were talking about um, the formation of clouds, we said that uh, water needs to, um, well not even just the formation of clouds, we said that if you have uh, water vapor, um, will go ahead and condense and form water uh, uh, liquid, we call that condensation, and what's needed oftentimes is what we call cloud condensation nuclei. Does that, do you, I don't know if that rings any bells. But these particulates can act as basically cloud condensation nuclei. So they can get the whole, um, getting these water vapor, uh, these water vapor particles together so they liquefy. So that's what we mean by these um, solid pollutants can kind of promote condensation. So that has certain consequences. In fact, um, the smog that we saw earlier kind of hovering over China, I mean, mixed in with that is, is basically we are promoting um, the formation of fog at conditions that are less than 100% relative humidity. Why? Because we have added basically cloud condensation nuclei. We have added maybe in, in some cases um, water-loving, hygro, um, hygroscopic uh, cloud condensation nuclei. So there you go. So this is looking at uh, primary pollutants for the United States in 2007. Not so surprising, the first one is carbon monoxide. Now in the next chapter when we talk about um, changing uh, climate, our surface temperature is changing. We're going to talk about carbon dioxide. But notice in all of this that we've been talking about carbon dioxide, we know actually is a primary product when you burn fossil fuels. It is not in and of itself a pollutant. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. Some people might uh, take exception to that. But carbon monoxide is by far the major pollutant that we put out. Um, those nitrogen oxides, now these are both related to um, burning fossil fuels, aren't they? The VOCs, um, sulfur dioxide, and in general particulates. So talking about particulates here, um, kind of putting things in perspective, this is like a grain of sand. Um, 90 microns. Uh, human hair, the diameter, 70 microns. And then down here um, we have a, a piece of dust that might be 10 microns. And then I mentioned the less than 2.5 microns. That is where we are getting to the size where it can be harmful to, as it interacts, 
uh, with our lung tissue. Notice that um, we use this convention PM2.5, so that's the particle size, 2.5 microns. Um, so how are we producing electrical energy in the United States? This is back in 06 statistics. A lot of burning of fossil fuels. Um, almost half of it is burning coal, followed by natural gas, nuclear power, this is the United States, hydroelectric, and generally speaking other, and uh, burning petroleum, that would be liquid fossil fuels, 1.6.